Hello, hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Ninja Boxing. And like I always say, please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select also in the video bank, uh, new exclusive video you're definitely be notified. And to all Ninja Boxers out there, now God, I take back what I make a lot of videos, subscribe, sharing is caring. Now, yeah, BBC you for year, your boogie to the app for town. And now we they give you bangers all the time. You know what I mean? Now let's get straight to it. Uh, if you Jagba, you know, defeated uh, Jonathan Rice via unanimous decision in a very um, interesting, connective, and um, I mean, exciting fight okay exciting fight in a way it depends on how you look at it you know what i mean um ajagba recently left pbc uh not long ago and um, he joined top rank signed with j prince and uh got a new coach in k koroma but i'm not gonna be the judge here tajagbe um and of course uh give his take on this fight um Bro, how how do you see the fight? Well, um, what we talked about yesterday was um, that what a job I needed to do was to move around and just stick to his jab. A punch can. What is this? How, what does the saying go? Um, a punch can take you to a block and a jab will take you around the world. It seems like a jab was missing that. You know, a jab was a tall man, longer reach. He should have jabbed and just kept, all he had to do was just keep moving, jab and just keep moving. But he just came straight down the line of sight of uh, Johnny Rice, even though Johnny Rice wasn't doing anything. And, you know, that's all Ajabba had to do. Eventually wore Johnny Rice out and knock him out. Because it looked like Ajabba might, ha might have hurt him in the second round. I, I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to really replay it back again and come back tomorrow. But <clears throat> Ajabba should have done exactly that. I don't know why Coach Kurama didn't tell Ajabba, just stick and move. Keep jabbing and moving. Keep jabbing and moving. That's all he needed to do. Because I did tell you guys the guy was going to stand in one spot and try to look for a knockout. And what do you do? You know, try to block a job line of sight. You know, paw at him with the left. And, you know, he was loading up the right. That's all he did all night. You know, uh, moved, continued. He moved away from a job with heavy hands. That's about it. <clears throat> you know, but... You know, it's it's. I, I will say it's ring rust for Jabba because, you know, during the COVID nineteen, I don't think there was um, you 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 were allowed any sparring partners. And after the COVID nineteen ended, a Jabba left um, PBC and went to Top Rank. So that was in all the midst of um, of all the of, of all the uh, COVID nineteen. So I don't think he really worked with Coach Karama they really got together in less than a month so it's kind of impressive what he was able to do you know uh, if a job was listening he shouldn't get frustrated yes tonight's performance wasn't your best performance but the takeaways that you did was you you were using you were going to the body that was that's a plus because you don't go to the body you know and you i saw some i think i saw like two or three uppercuts in there so that's another thing. And you threw at least 422 punches. That's very impressive. So, you know, and I think you just need to go when you're when you're in when you're in sparring, punching bags, heavy bags, go 110%, man. And you, a job, if you're listening, man, move your feet. That's all you have to do, bro. Move your feet and you will be a problem. 
my, my isn't it the like, same isn't it the same reason i mean we've we me and you we've complained about it before you know and when he joined J k koruma this was what he, this what this what he said he's working on right i mean i saw some clips of him moving his feet and all that in training it looks good but when it comes to the practical side of it um i mean the i mean i am i'm happy he won for sure but i wasn't expect i wasn't expecting uh, our brother ajaba to go to distance with jonathan rice that guy i got knocked out by uh dems mckean from Zealand. you know i know mark mudov is a mark mudov is a he's a he's a, a monster but at the same time i don't think he's got the power of ajaba and ajaba was getting ajaba got tagged a couple of times with a jab as well you know man with the right hands he like he couldn't he, he the defense was very poor today you know very poor i must say continue brother what you're saying you know they're all correct um ajaba he's improving i, I don't want to take anything away from him he's improving and i hope uh karuma k karuma is really you know pushing him to be his best you know all he has to do is a job if you're listening if people are if, if if his friends family are listening tell him not to go straight down the line of sight when he's walking the opponent down he doesn't need to continue doing that because he's doing that his guard is wide open he's gonna get he's gonna somebody's gonna give what given give a throw throw a jab to him break that guard even more straight down the pipe and then comes the right hand much like uh, Ilago Kalazzi but there were some good takeaways and at the same time there were some bad takeaways so you know much work needs to be done but a win is a win congratulations man and I you look frustrated you look you know maybe your coach told you don't look for the knockout which is very smart you shouldn't look for the knockout you should let it come to you you know continue working on those those skills sharpen them even more man you know come back you'll be better i can't wait for the next fight but we'll, we're gonna talk tomorrow now you, if you look at someone like ronnie shields you know who, who's definitely who's definitely um would who, who i can definitely say <clears throat> worst it you know what do you think he thinks about a job of performance and a job right now like kekoroma is not proven we already said that but we i cannot judge kekoroma because of one fight they seem to adjust to each other there's things that uh ajaba, that ajaba needs to work on and he needs to not just work on he needs to master it because i see i see i see him doing it in training but when it comes to you know executing it in the ring tends to be a problem uh, but I, I will still say though it was a very it was like a sparring it's like a sparring session a jagba you know um it did what he had to do i, I like the body the the, the 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 punches to the body i went to the body like i think he's just trying new things out you know and that my that for for some people that's like okay he's not impressed he's not like he's not impressing us like we thought he will but it's just like a learning process a learning curve for him so guys like the video share subscribe what was it what was you guys take on this are you guys uh impressed with jack was win um i mean we'll talk more about this you know what i mean um i'm not like I wasn't expecting Jabba to go the distance with Jonathan Rice. Not even, no, no, no. I wasn't expecting that, and I wasn't expecting Jabba not to move his feet. You know, what I mean, not to walk, not, not to tighten his defense. I wasn't expecting that he got he, he got tired a lot of times by Johnny Rice, Jonathan Rice, and uh, yeah, it's what it is, man. Like if you should subscribe. As usual, I give you guys not we give you guys nothing but bangers. Go follow me on Instagram at uh, Boxer Block Center. On Twitter at Boss Blue Center, on Facebook at Boss Blue Center. Now go to Ted Begura. Make sure to follow me for Instagram so that I go first start my new show. I want to start back. Now go to Ted Begura. Uh, yes, so I'm a job one. 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 So sharing is scary, like I always say. Money they share, the money they help us. You know, 
uh, find out more on the grand boxers from Nigeria and Africa, you know, to promote and talk about stable borders.